Silverstone, its world famous tracks have hosted thousands of races. Competing today, 14 of the hottest pushchairs on the market, donated by the industry's leading brands. They've been entered into three heats, budget, mid-range and top whack. To put them through their paces, we've hired some crash test mummies. So what are they looking for in a pushchair? What was important to you when you chose your buggy for your kids? How heavy it is, really. It needs to be sturdy. I need to be able to get a lot of shopping in there. And what about collapsibility? Yeah, I need to be able to get it down in a real uh, rush. We're going to put the buggies through a series of tests to check for the key things that parents look for. So, of course, we had to test stability. Now, I know we're not supposed to, but show me a mum who hasn't just once put her shopping on the back of her buggy. So we've designed Buggy Buckaroo. Go on, girls! So it's over to our commentator. Thanks, Gabby. For this test, we've weighted each buggy up eight kilograms, about the weight of a six-month-old baby. And we're providing each of our stunt mums with some basic groceries. Every manufacturer tells you not to do this, but how much weight can each buggy take in these shopping bags before they topple over? First, we're testing our budget push chairs, all retailing between 140 and 180 pounds. Parents, don't try this at home. And they're off. Are our buggies up to the challenge? Each shopping bag contains a can of beans already, but will they cope with a bottle of juice? Oh, my word, looking good. Next up, it's a bottle of fabric conditioner. And at around two kilograms, is it going to prove too much? Nope, still standing. Next, tomato ketchup at 730 grams. Surely the push chairs can handle that. But no, would you look at that, the Mamas and Papas Luna. First to go there with a combined weight of nearly five kilograms. Uh, obviously, it's not very good for shopping. We kept piling in groceries and at the end of our budget round, only one push chair was left standing. The safety first, easy first. Our second cheapest buggy at 150 pounds. Our more expensive buggies did slightly better. In our mid-range, the Mother Cares Exertion Travel System and Maxi Cozy Mora stayed up longest. Both for under 350 pounds and in the top price range, it was Mother Cares, My Choice 4W and the Bugaboo B. Yay! Blooming prams! <laughs> Next, we're testing manoeuvrability and pitting our push chairs against their most formidable foe. Which we again, get me? Other pedestrians. Our stunt mums must slalom around our shopaholic, a youth, granny, lost tourist, and a man with a broken leg. So, how well will those wheels steer? Good luck, everybody! <laughs> Stick out. Let's see how they do on the return leg. Right there. You see those wheels lifting off at the front there. Got a hit on the end there by the bag. Well done. What's the verdict from our testers, Gabby? So how did that feel for you? Even though the buggy itself is very light, it centres quite well and it does stay on the ground and it's quite manoeuvrable. Oh, she's had a fall. It was like um, a shopping trolley in a supermarket, the ones that just do not do what you want them to do. And again, the wheels have gone. And it was brilliant, quite light, so it's easy to move about. So yeah, it's fun, great fun. The crash you had with the old lady. I, I think that was more your fault than hers. Oh! Oh dear, I think that should go to a steward's inquiry, Gabby. In that round, a Quinny Buzz proved you get what you pay for at £420. But at only £140, the budget McLaren's ball cornered like a dream. I bet they've been getting tips from the Formula One team. What's next, Gabby? Every mum, dad, granny or carer who's ever pushed a buggy and tried to get it onto a bus knows just how difficult that can be. So we couldn't leave that out of our testing, could we? Yes, it's a busy bus to board for the stunt mums. The driver's grumpy. There's no room, you'll have to fold that. The other passenger's impatient. And there's no room for another pushchair. How quickly can our mums fold the buggy while still holding the baby? It was a slow start, but there were no problems with a budget Mother Care Vesta and the premium Bugaboo B. Our stunt mums got them down with just one hand. And what about this mid-range Quinny Speedy? At £265, it's down quick, but that is far from compact. The aisle is totally blocked. The other passengers are not going to like that. And finally, this stunt mum is having a nightmare with a £420 Quinny Buzz. It's down. It's up. It's down. It's up. Oh dear, but I do wonder how much of this is down to operator error. So, a mixed bag of results here, but it was a challenge that certainly got our testers worked up. 
that was a huge struggle. It's it's just awful having to hold the child, to try and get around everybody, to try and then find all the levers that are on these buggies. So there's absolutely no way you can manipulate bags, buggies and child. Our last challenge was to test those safety harnesses. So, over to you, Gabby. So this one here is Buggy Bronco, and the buggy is attached to the place where the bucking bronco would normally be attached, and it's going to be subjected to the same kind of vigours that a human would on a bucking bronco. Thanks, Gabby. The mums have strapped in the doll, so let's bronco. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Is she staying? Is she stay. Oh. I should point out, Gabby, these dolls are lighter and smaller than a normal child. After all, we wouldn't want to hurt anyone when they fly off. Oh, no! She's staying, she's staying. So, could any buggy beat the Bronco? This premium McLaren Teco XLR went close. Its safety harness kept the doll in the pram for a whopping one minute and ten seconds. But there's a clear winner. It's another McLaren, the mid-range Teco XT. Two whole minutes on the Bronco and that doll's not going anywhere. Amazing scenes, these. So, at the end of our test, there was no outright winner. But we did have one surprise result. Those cheaper buggies did usually manage to keep up with the most expensive. So, paying top whack may not mean you get a better performance. So, that's all from Silverstone, and it's now back to the studio.